CEO of Safety Enterprises here with another installment in our informational videos. We're going to talk very briefly about the differences between double and single action semi-automatics. I have two examples. I have a 1911 uh, custom Colts in here and I have a Smith & Wesson 6906 uh, semi-automatic. This is uh, a 9mm. Uh, this particular firearm is a 45. Semi-automatics all function pretty much the same. You have component parts that are very similar on each of the firearms. Differences between double action and single action is the functions that the trigger actually performs. Also, it, it impacts how you would load the firearm or how the safety mechanisms do work. Uh, the 1911 has a magazine release on the left side of the frame below and behind the trigger guard. You'll find that magazine release in the same position on the Smith & Wesson 6906. And again, most semi-automatics are the same. Both firearms have a slide release or slide stop. The slide stop works in conjunction with the magazine follower. The follower comes out of the magazine, pushes that round up into the chamber. As the last round is chambered, the mag follower pushes up on the slide stop internally. When the gun is empty, under design, if the mag follower is functioning properly, the gun will lock open empty. Uh, without that magazine in the firearm, every time you pull the slide to the rear, the slide would simply function and travel forward and, and backwards. So as that empty magazine follower pushes up on these two levers, uh, as the gun is cycling to the rear, the slide locks open empty. So it is a slide release by pushing down, releases the slide to close the weapon, pushing up on the slide or imitating the empty magazine follower pushing up on this internally, it becomes a slide stop. Okay, So you have magazine release and slide release on both types of firearms. Differences being on these two at this point is safety. You do have a safety lever on both firearms. On the 1911 it is located on the frame. On the 6906 it is located on the slide. Unlike uh, a uh, uh, single action semi-automatic, the double action semi-automatic safety pushes down. It will decock the lever and lower the hammer. This will do so without discharge. Obviously you don't want to have the muzzle pointed in, in a direction where you could destroy something. So uh, keep it in a safe direction while you're operating this mechanism. Even though it is a man-made device, it could fail. So dropping that safety lever, you'll notice the hammer will fall. Under design, the gun should not discharge, So, but still keep mindful of muzzle control at all times. The safety on the single action is in an opposite direction, pushes up. That safety lever actually locks the hammer in a rearward position so that not only will the slide stay in a closed position, but the gun should not discharge with that safety on. You have the advent of an additional safety on the 1911, and that is a grip safety, which is located on the back. All 1911-style firearms have this safety. So if your manual safety were off on it, and it has an advent of an avid extra safety, we'll talk about that in a second, if I push that safety lever down and that safety drops, you should be able to uh, fire the gun at this point. However, the 1911 has that additional grip safety. Without depressing that grip safety, by design, the gun should not discharge. So I'm squeezing the trigger. I will now apply pressure to the grip safety, and you'll notice the hammer will fall. Okay. So single action, double action is referring to the functions the trigger performs. On a single action semi-automatic, pulling the trigger does one function. It actually releases the hammer for discharge. So if I had my hammer down on this particular semi-automatic, had a round in the chamber, and pulled the trigger, nothing would happen. On the semi-automatic, Smith & Wesson, now first, Smith & Wessons have what is known as a magazine disconnect, so I would have to have the magazine in the firearm. But if I swept the safety off on this particular semi-automatic, pushing it forward and up, you will notice the trigger is not able to uh, function and operate the mechanism, so you would have to have that magazine in the firearm. Inserting the magazine in the firearm, now it performs two functions by pulling the trigger. And we'll verify to make sure it is indeed unloaded. Pulling the trigger of two functions. You notice it's cocking the hammer. It's doing that with about 10 to 12 pounds of pressure in the industry today. And then discharging. Okay, so again, two functions. Double action. Pulling the trigger cocks the mechanism and fires. Whereas a single action, pulling the trigger does nothing unless the hammer is indeed cocked. And then pulling that trigger does one function releasing the hammer, thus it's single action. So we have the difference between a single action and a double action semi-automatic. Be sure to check with us later. We'll have some more videos out there on different firearms, more informational videos as well. If you have any more, uh, uh, would like some more insight, you can check out our Facebook page at Safety Enterprises LLC, or you can go to our website at www.safetyenterprisesllc.com.